talking about Anubis on American soil. Well, basically, what I'm talking about is how. Oh, flip it back around. Sorry about that. How is it that Anubis? They claim to that Anubis is actually from Africa or Egypt. When Anubis, the dog, actually, which is a Sort of like a hairless dog is found actually in Central America, which is actually part of America, which is all the same land mass, right? Mexico, you know, connected with us, American soil. So this is actually one land mass. So how is it that they try to sell, tell us that Anubis, you know, the god of the underground, that he is actually um, from... Africa. So what I'm doing is I'm connection. I'm making the connections of how it is that this soil, which uh, we know as America, which is also which is actually Turtle Island, which is actually Atlantis, because we are the Atlantans, right? That we're actually in the same on the same soil where you actually find actually even the Nile River. So I'm making all of these connections so that people can actually see that, yeah, the Mississippi is the now. All right. If you look at the same structure the way the Mississippi is, it's the same on a, on a map of the now is the same. OK, so why is this important? Because a lot of times we feel like we got to leave where we at in order to gain what we got. When we already have what we need. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to go looking elsewhere. It's sort of like they always try to make us think that the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. Well, no, the grass is actually green enough on the side of the fence we're on. And we should be looking for ways that we can water our grass rather than looking for ways to separate ourselves from the grass that we're on. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we want to uh, forget about what we got and not realize what we have. All right. So I'm one for really helping us to embrace ourselves and the, the, the wealth of what we really have. You know what I'm saying? Rather than teaching people or telling people that we need to look elsewhere. So if y'all go on my Facebook, which is Craig S O G Roger Hooty, all right, you will see I have it posted there, the Egyptian dog, right? And what it says is that um, this actual dog is originating in Mexico. All right, <laughs> and um, the way they they. You know, the, the the name of this dog, the way you pronounce it, it's just very interesting. Um, it's actually a long name. Uh, it's Sholo Eats Quintly. All right. And if you want to spell it out right now, it's X-O-L-O-I-T-Z-C-U-I-N-T-L-I. So... I'm just going to call this for the sake of this video. The show low eats dog. <laughs> the show low eats like show low eats. Uh, dog. All right. Um, the reason why I'm mentioning this as well, is because dog is like my spirit animal. It shows up in my dreams. It's a form of protection for me in regards to how I move and the things that I do. Um, many times, I mean, I had a dream of actually a dog protecting me. My actual dog, which I named Sekhmet, was protecting me from a wild boar, like a wild pig that was trying to attack me. And my dog just came out the blue, whew, attacked the dog, I mean the pig, and the pig was fighting back at my dog, but then the two other dogs joined in and defeated the pig for me. And this was all done when my back was turned. I was like, oh, shoot. You know, if I didn't, the dog, if the dog didn't see the pig before me, I could have been mutilated and destroyed. So that's pretty much a sign to me that my um, 
my protectors, my angels, my spirit team, my ancestors is all around me protecting me from all harm and danger. All right. So, um, this is something really to pay attention to because, as we know, uh, Egyptian has been Egypt has been taught to us to have uh, transmitted a lot of powerful information downloads to us to help us all elevate in our consciousness and our spirituality. Everything from like you know the way we we unite in symbols such as the Ankh, right? All throughout Egyptian what they call hieroglyphics or which is actually metal netta this is the word of god metal netta is that you see a lot of these unks all right the unk symbolism is a symbolism of life as opposed to the symbol of the cross which is a symbol of death right because they teach us that christ was crucified on a cross so it's actually like an execution device the cross so Wearing a cross would be sort of like wearing an electric chair around your neck. Well, now, would you want to wear an electric chair around your neck? No, right? But if you had the opportunity to wear life, something that gives life to people around your neck, would you do that? Yes. Exactly. And that's why I make these, you know what I'm saying? Let's see if I got any more laying around. Um, not that I can grab at the moment. But pretty much... um. I'm making a connection between why America is Egypt. Okay. If you look at the Nile River, right? You look at the Nile River on the map, it's the same shape, design, path that it shows that the Mississippi River has. All right. So these are evident signs that we are currently in Egypt if you live in America. If you also look at a lot of the mountains, you look at these mountains, you be like, yo, these things are so big. If you really take time to look at the shape of the mountain, what is it shaped like? A pyramid. What happened over the years is that if you think about it, really, grass, trees, certain things have grown on top of the pyramids. So now the pyramids that were once what they were, solid, you know, rocks, have now become covered up with grass, trees, a lot of foliage, bushes, things growing on top of it. But if you look really at the shape of the mountain, it's the shape of a pyramid. And we have tons of pyramids in America. Let's be real. All right. So, I mean, there's many times I've been driven, I drove down a road and I'm looking, I'm like, yo, that looks straight up like a pyramid. That just got over the years, you know, no one's no one's paying attention to it. Obviously, things are gonna grow on top of it. And it happens all the time. You walk down your sidewalk, what do you see coming out? The sidewalk concrete. You see freaking grass growing up the cracks. Right? If we were to leave your sidewalks straight with no type of attention, nobody going and cutting the grass that's growing in between the cracks of the sidewalk, what's gonna happen over time? That sidewalk, which was once concrete, is going to be solid. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be covered with grass. All right. So pretty much, um, I need us all to just be thankful for the fact that where we at, we have a wealth of, um, the land is this land is just full of so many resources, so much wealth, gold, crystals, um, rivers, lakes, you name it, animals, it's all found right here. And we therefore because we have a wealth of resources around us, that makes us what? Well, he. <laughs> and I need us all to remember that because guess what? When this whole system shuts down and people can't access their dead presidents, which is really worthless, they need to be reminded of the wealth that is in this land. This land, you can grow food, 
right? You could live, you could build, you could take, whether it be bamboo sticks, you could build a house with it. Um, I love building with bamboo. One thing about bamboo is that it's lightweight. You could, you could transport it easily. It's strong, it's flexible, all right? And it grows fast. So I encourage anybody out there, if you see some bamboo growing, like let it grow, water it actually, if you can, let that thing grow. And shoot, plant some bamboo if you can. You know what I mean? Um, it's a beautiful resource. Um, plant trees, plant gardens, plant food, and just really be prepared for anything that can hit. Anything that comes down the pipeline, we ready for it. All right, because we live in a land of abundance. All right, full of resources all around us. Stay connected with your soul tribe, people. Stay in touch with the God, divine being that is in you. Um, stay in touch with your dreams. A lot of times we wake up and we think, oh, that was just a dream. Nah, it was real. Dreams are not fake. Because if it was fake, how could it, how could you see something fake if your eyes are closed? You're seeing it through your third eye, right? Some people call it the first eye because it's usually the first eye you see with when you're in the womb, you're looking through your first eye before you come out and you look with these two eyes. Okay, so um, first eye, third eye, all the same. And um, we receive a wealth of information through these dreams. If you just take time to just meditate on what the dream was about. Sometimes to get the information, you could actually go on Google. And if you dreamt about a dog, you could type that what that means. If you dreamt about a bird, you dreamt about being in a vehicle, a car, dreamt about whatever it is, flying. A lot of times you could dissect and you could actually decode uh, the messages that are coming to you through your God conscious, your God self, your subconscious, right? So being that a lot of times we think, oh, it's the subconscious, it's not, you're not conscious of what's happening. Well, the same word conscious is just been subconscious, so you are conscious of what's happening. All right, if you would just not ignore, ignore the message. Other day, um, I had a dream that I was walking past a building. I go up in the building. My brother was in there recording some music with his friend, Mark Kim. And they, they the ones who actually recorded that uh, album, The Hood Rats. If you boot leg, you get your leg broke, nigga, which was put out by Sony early 90s, right? So he's in there. They working on a song. I remember seeing Mark Kim was dead. And he was like working the board or whatever you want to call it as an engineer. My brother had laid down some vocals. And when I walked in to the studio, my brother was like, yo, I was just talking about you. I was like, what? He was like, yeah. We were just talking. Wasn't we just talking about him, Mark Kim? I was like, he was like, yeah, we were just talking about you. You just walked in. And he was like, I need you to record this song with me. And that right there, like, spoke volumes to me because all it was saying to me is that it's time to record some new music. And this is ways that you can interpret your dreams. These are ways that you can get information from your dreams. Mind you, my brother, rest in peace, he still lives on, right? Lamont Lake, that's his government, but he went by a lot of different rap names, Montana, actually. Um, so we made music together and we always put out different songs. You know what I mean? Over the years. So what's wild is that a lot of times we be thinking that our loved ones, people, our ancestors, we thinking they dead and gone and that they, the energy is, it doesn't exist no more. And that's a lie. We really don't die, y'all. Because energy is neither created nor destroyed. We cannot be destroyed. We're indestructible. All right. And this life force that's within us 
the spirit, the soul, yeah, it may leave this vessel, this physical part of us, which is a vessel, just like a shell, but it lives on in another dimension. And it's our spirit and our soul that actually is still able to connect with our loved ones in those dimensions through our dreams. And when we pay attention to these dreams that we're having, and we may be coming in contact with our ancestors, that's actually them. That's not no fake version of them. That's not no clone. Like some of the clones that's out here in this world of celebrities and athletes, they not but clones. Okay. And um, so when we come in contact with them, they're actually giving us information. And some of us are just ignoring the information. So I want y'all to really start writing this down, taking the notes, keeping track of your dreams, and just meditating on that. And believe me, you, you will receive a message. My message was that I need to get back into recording music. Yours could be whatever it is that you do or you need to do. All right. And as you pay attention to that, um, you know, it'll bring a lot of fulfillment to your life and um, bountifulness, wealth, richness. Uh, purposefulness as we um, live out our true selves because this system and unfortunately it has indoctrinated many of us with a lot of lies a lot of the religions that we've been taught over the years is all lies is all a way to distract us from the divine God within each of us the divine God or goddess within you you're taught to view God outside of yourself when you are the God that you're looking for you are the goddess that you're looking for is right inside of you it's you you looking at that God or goddess in the mirror peace to the gods and goddesses on planet Ka the God of me honors the God in you namaste this is why I always usually start my videos or end the videos with namaste and then we got certain mudras this is a prayer mudra where you holding your hands together. And what's happening is because our hands are actually release energy, right? A release chakra is a chakra part. It's another extension of the chakras. You got crown chakra, heart chakra, throat chakra, solar plex chakra. We got chakras in our hands. So the energy that's pulsating between our hands now what is it doing when you hold your hands together? Now it's, it's strengthening my whole aura, my whole being right now. It's being elevated, it's being um, pressurized. It's kind of like if you look at blowing up a balloon, just imagine a balloon being blown up. Like, <sighs> the longer you hold this position, you are actually strengthening your whole spiritual being. Because a lot of times we look at ourselves just as this physical part, but forget that all around us, there's an extension of who we are. That's why I don't cut my hair. I usually let my hair grow. Why? Because it's an extension of who I am. And I'm able to pick up on the spiritual parts of life through my hair, which connects to the ether, right? To the spirit. And so this is why if you notice What's the first thing they do when they send people to the military? They cut their hair, why? To cut off their connection with the divine self so that they can cause that person to bow down to a system outside of themselves that controls them. That's why I encourage mudras. This is a heart mudra. Put one hand on your leg, one over your heart, and just hold it like that, right? What does that do? That encourages self-love. All right? It opens up your heart to receiving divine love. Because a lot of times, we close ourselves off to love. True love. Divine love. When we reject those who extend themselves to us in different ways, sometimes we miss the call. We miss the opportunity because we're so distracted 
whether it is about money or a job or or another person that that's pulling our energy in the opposite direction right so this is why i encourage things like getting in touch with mudras getting in touch with the exercise of using mudras getting in touch with things like qigong breathing deeply through your nose out your mouth doing mudras as you're breathing and meditating and doing these breathing meditations this is a mudra for receiving bliss receiving prosperity coming through this portal right here this triangle right abundance comes into your life through the mudra like this when you hold your fingertips together balances you out in spirit soul body mind harmonizing yourself with yourself being in one 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 with yourself not in dis-ease with yourself removing dis-ease from your body the other day i had um a stuffy nose Guess how you can remove stuffy nose? Hold your, your uh, left thumb up in the air. Right? Touch your thumb and your pointer finger with your right hand. Hold your left thumb up. Put your hand like this in front of your body. Hold it like that for like 15 minutes. At least try it as long as you can. No lie. My nose was stuffy when I first started it. I could barely breathe through my nose even while I was sleeping. I couldn't barely breathe. So I said, yo, I got to get rid of this stuffy nose. So I held this mudra like this. I'm like, let me see what this is about to do. And I played some uh, sound frequency meditation on YouTube. Guess what happened? Y'all see me with a stuffy nose now? No, right? My nose is cleared up. My sinuses are cleared up. So what I'm saying is that we have the ability to heal ourselves. We are the gods and goddesses of this earth and we're able to heal our bodies when we tap into certain information and practice certain mudras and mantras and use certain sounds such as 432 which is the healing sound you can play it on youtube just type 432 why is it they switched our music from 432 to 440 because that's a frequency that throws off and this harmonizes your body and and your ears act as portals. So whatever is going into your ear, it actually takes you to that dimension. That sound sound takes you to another dimension. Right? That's why I love song. You can hear a love song all of a sudden. You feeling in love. You can hear a rap song about some gangster rap. Right? And all of a sudden you want to fight. So these sounds are actually sending. Uh, vibrations which are causing certain feelings and certain moods to uh begin to generate throughout our bodies all right so um i know i'm giving a lot of information i'm kind of like you know all of this information is very relevant they really take time to listen to what i'm saying this is you know hey i'll say it, it's for entertainment purposes but as well guess what it's real. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I don't care, like, really, I'm not afraid. Because guess what? We can't live in fear. I can't live in fear and say, oh, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just hold back on this information because of such and such. Well, if there's no such thing as death, why well, fear death? You know what I mean? That's how I feel. Death ain't nothing to fear. It's your idea, it's your concept of what death is that that you that people fear. Right? It's what you've been taught about death. That's why people fear death. Because they don't know about it. They, it's the fear of the unknown, right? So as y'all can see, I'm wearing these crystal frames and let me show y'all another pair that I had made. I'm starting to make these crystal shades or frames, you may call them. 
where they keep where they have to keep the lens in it, right? So these right here, okay, you got the tie guy's eye, you got the court's point point over the third eye, the eye of Horus, eye of Ra, over the third eye. So ain't it? If you need a pair of these, hit me up on Instagram at Creators Jewel, C R E A T O R S Jewel, J E W E L S E L S. One word. All right. We we'll get a pair of these. Wow. The amethyst. Clear quartz. I Heru. I Ra. Fly, ain't it? Yeah, we're royalty, y'all. Why not live like royalty? Why not look like royalty? You know what I mean? Treat yourself like royalty. And get yourself a pair of these. All right. By yours truly. This one right here says Taurus. All right. Just made these recently. Oh, I like that. Organ. The root word for organic. Yeah. Thank you for that message. And this right here is organ, which is the root word for organic. Yeah. Good point. We hear each one teach one, y'all. That's what it's about. I love when we could do that, you know, come together, give each other the knowledge and information because it's the knowledge and information that when you put it into use and you put it into practice, that is actually what will cause you to be wise. That's what will cause you to be prosperous. When you're able to apply the knowledge that is in, that is out here, and with the world wide web, with this shoot while it's working, y'all take get use of it because I don't know how long the internet gonna be working. That's why I really felt to come out here and give y'all this information. I mean, y'all hear about so many things out here shutting down. Let's be real. Toys R Us shut down, right? It tried somebody tried to open it up, they couldn't open it back up. They're talking about Bath and Body shutting down. I hear about Disney World, Disneyland shutting down indefinitely. Then there was a little rumor like, oh, they just moving it to Atlanta. Nah, it's shut down indefinitely. Not to be opened again. All right. We see all these things shutting down and closing. Right? Why? Because it has to. They cannot withstand in this current energy that is coming on a planet right the sun is giving us so much download so much information so many people minds is opening up this information i'm giving out here now i know that people who listen to it they're gonna begin to it's gonna begin to unlock certain dna which they call junk dna and it's gonna begin to unlock people's minds and begin to cause people to think in ways that they never thought before okay and people be like, oh, oh yeah, the aura lights. Yup, you're getting downloads from that too. Okay, and um, people think there's nothing new under the sun. That's not true. It is this, it is, you're something new under the sun. I'm something new. I ain't that same kid from kindergarten. You know what I mean? With the same knowledge back then. My mind, my mind has elevated, my mind has increase and evolve into who I am now. I'm not that same person that was worshiping uh, being a entity outside of myself, but they call Jesus. No, I worship the Jesus within me, the Christ within me. I am the Christ, the resurrected one with the 33 vertebrae uh, going up my spine. You know what I'm saying? I am the 666, the beast. Um, just show y'all what else I got here is these uh these organ clips, right? High intelligence. These organ clips, y'all y'all can put on your hoodies. A lot of ladies be getting them for their locks and dudes, or, or their braids. But boom, I start putting these on my hoodies. It's something new. Have y'all ever seen this? This thick about? I said that there's a saying. There's nothing new under the sun. That's not true. I never seen nobody make these. As far as I know, I'm the first one to make these organ clips that you could wear in your braids, your locks, or in your hoodie strings. Prime example. So what I'm saying is a lot of information, a lot of downloads that's coming for new things, to create new things, right? That's why I call myself Craig the Creator. I'm always creating something new. 
whether it be music, whether it be frames, shades, crystal shades, jewelry, okay, right, all gone, oh yeah, yeah, shout out to Remedy H, yo, that's my brother right there, that brother be dropping mad knowledge, shout out to Remedy H, for real, we need more people out here that's building, that's bringing people together like Remedy H and bringing people together and teaching us how to make organ pieces. When I realized that organ heals the body, I started turning it into jewelry. I said, why not have this organ laying on my chest in the form of an unk wrapped with copper that's going to resonate the energy of the organ and cause it to vibrate and conduct a high level energy with brass and copper and fill it with crystals such as amethyst, rose quartz, clear quartz, selenite, along with the copper triskelion, right? Why not create something like this and put it on a leather rope that people could wear and it could always protect their body from cancer because all God present, prevents cancer, y'all. What's happening with the organ is that it's releasing such a powerful emission of high level of vibration and energy. And yo, my cell phone is dying. Sorry, y'all. This this live might be cut off in a minute. Um, cause my battery dying. So, but yeah, if you need any pieces from me, you need any organ, you need any jewelry, crystals. All right, I'm here for you. Hit me up, DM me on my Instagram at Creators Jewels or Craig.the.creator and let me know what you need. Whether it be these frames right here, you can put your zodiac sign on the side. Right? This one is Taurus. Shout out to the Taurus. We have Taurus season as far as I know. And or if you need the frames with no lens, I make these too. Alright. Thank y'all for tapping in with me. Thank y'all for coming through. Thank you for everyone out there who's who's like sharing their knowledge as well. And and I like to hear comments. I like people when they have to, you know, commenting, not just stalking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not that everybody's stalking, but I'm saying like, this should be a conversation, a discussion. It's not always about somebody just lecturing. We're here to shoot, lecture each other. You got information that I need. I got information that you need. Let's come in together. Let's strengthen ourselves together. Want to put a thousand a flight to a put 10,000 a flight. That means our efforts grow by multiples of 10, right? One times 1,000 times 10 turns into 10,000. So I, as one person, could reach 1,000 people. You with me, boom, together we're reaching 10,000 people. You put another one person with that 10 times 10,000, what you up to? 100,000 people. Now we're reaching 100,000 people because we're bringing our efforts together exponentially as a soul tribe and that's what it's about i'm here to build with my soul tribe all right people's out there so if you know that you're original organic to this land you're not black you're not in aborigines because that stands for not original we are the original we're not abnormal we are normal we're normally organic we're organic to this world we're not black right that's a political status. We're not African American. All right. That's considered like my brother Remedy been teaching. That's considered.